Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use a form as an interface for a data set. So on the screen, I've got a list of information, people's gender, grade, course attended, age, etc. You can see it there. Now, I can just type at the bottom here to enter this information if I get a new person and I can navigate through this list as well. But there is a feature called form which sits in the data menu, which allows you to do the same sort of thing, but through an interface such as this form. Now, because I've not highlighted it, it's just coming up with a record I'm on. So if I, if I close that down and just highlight the, the titles, so it gets the titles and then go for data form, the titles appear down the left hand side there. So you can see you've got next and then previous and so on. And if you make a change, so let's change this. Um, I'm on record one, Friedel. If I change that grade to SS, what you have to do is press enter and then it basically accepts that information. So that is now a grade SS. If I put that back to AO and if I click down you can press tab to come down and I, I, I decided that that's wrong I can click on restore and it'll put the SS back in there but it isn't wrong so I'll just press AO again and then enter so it accepts that and if I go next 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 all the way down go all the way down to the last bot bottom record and you can see it's a blank line so if I now put in there section a1212 press tab cu121212 whatever that is name and then just put saxton in there and you're just filling this in as you're going down pressing tab each time aa attended equal ops age 64 now for that to go into this table, I need to press enter and then it will drop into this table and you can see it is in the table there now. So if I just close this down and just click off that, it hasn't picked up the format and it's gone in a different font. So I'd probably need to clone that and just drag that across there so it does exactly the same as the rest of it. Now if I just highlight the table again, I'm including that blank line this time, if I go data form got one out of 23 if I scroll all the way down 22 out of 23 is me and there's a blank space for a new record there so that's just a quick video of how to use this form so hopefully you found that video useful how to use the form to input data in a table in LibreOffice Calc so thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one